Hi everyone, this is Larry the Barber Man and today we are going to discuss the best direction to shave your skin in to avoid getting razor bumps or ingrowing hairs. Now often people use references as to the direction they choose to shave their hair, albeit the gentleman they see in the Gillette advert who shaves himself in 47 seconds flat or if they saw their barber shaving a client in the chair. This is what uh, people may choose as a reference point of the directions in which they shave their self. For me, the answer to what direction do I shave in? You shave in the direction of the skin that you are in. You know, not everybody is equal. If you remember yesterday, just to reiterate, I told you that the hair grows in a certain direction and we can shave in three different directions. So just to reiterate, if the hair did grow down and I started my shave at the top here at the root and shaved in a downward direction, that would be called shaving with the grain. This uh, method produces the least irritation or zero irritation. The next method, with bearing in mind that the hair is growing down, if I came from the bottom up, that would be called a shaving against the grain. This produces the most irritation for someone with sensitive skin. And the least, uh, the one that's in the middle is called shaving across the grain. So if the hair was growing down and I came across it, that would be called shaving across the grain. This is medium irritation if you have sensitive skin. So us uh, black people in particular who are prone to ingrowing hairs and razor bumps. We have to do everything in our power to uh, stop this from happening and to avoid this from happening. So when we are shaving, we need to do everything we can to stop irritation or keep irritation to a minimal. So when we're shaving every inch of our face that we shave, we want to be shaving with minimal irritation. So what happens if we have, you know, a mask of shaving foam on our face? How can we remember which direction our hair's going in? We can't. So it's important, well, we can, over time, through muscle memory, we can uh, program ourselves to remember, but this is over time. But at the very beginning, we need to uh, map our beard. So like I said, every inch that we shave, we know we are going with the gain and reducing the irritation. In reducing the irritation, we reduce the chances of getting ingrown hairs and bumps. So what I've devised, you obviously know who this person is. This is me. This is uh, Larry, the barber man shaving map. So I know every inch of my bearded area, I know what direction my hair is growing. So now when I do have a big film of uh, shaving foam on my face, referring to it on the wall, you can, I've got this stuck to the mirror, but you can actually stick it to your mirror where you'll be shaving. You can actually just follow those strokes. So I know here I come down at a slight angle, here I come down at a slight angle, under the chin I go straight down, uh, my cheek, I come inwards and slightly down, inwards and slightly down, down and inwards at this point. I know exactly where I'm going. So that's why, you know, as I said in my first video, for two months I was experiencing razor bumps and I just couldn't get rid of them. I didn't know what was happening. Chances are I was probably shaving randomly against the grain and just very unlucky. And that's why I was getting these bumps. So this is how I do it. I mean, actually mapping this out can cause uh, a lot of frustration because uh, to the uninitiated, to find the direction of your beard and your beard's growing in multiple directions, it can be quite frustrating. So I've come up with a couple of systems you can try in order to map uh, out your skin. So a couple of things you'd need, um, some cotton pads, maybe a credit card and if you aren't using the cotton pads then you'll need some sellotape now what you do like i said 
these will be available to download wherever you're watching this video, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube, there'll be a link below to download one of these. This will be completely blank. So you just start where you want to start from the left and work your way all around. You just want to fill in this entire grid with the directional growth of your hair. Yeah, this is tailor made for you with my face on it, unfortunately. So how you can do that. These cotton pads, you basically look where you think the direction of the growth is and you want to follow the direction of the growth and this you will use as a reference. So like I said, I know that on my cheek I just need to go out from my nose at a slight angle and as you see there's little or no lint. If I turn the direction you'll see that that gathers lint which means I'm going against the grain. So once you've uh, worked that out you just basically put the direction of the hair growth for every single section of your hair. And the reason I have the tape, once that lint has actually caught a whisker, it's just gonna keep chipping out. So in order to clear your face, you just use, uh, put, wrap your hand around the sellotape. And that removes all the lint from your face. <clears throat> If you do not have any cotton pads or that system doesn't work for you, you can also use a credit card, literally go along your face. If you look in the mirror, you can actually just see it and then you'll see when the hairs are going against the grain as well. And again, just do it section by section, get your marker, mark out the direction of the growth. So once you've completed both the side for view and the frontal view. When you now go to shave, you put on your big film of shaving foam. Look at your thing. So now when I'm shaving, I better use the uh, double edge uh, razor. I just know now I'll come here. When I get to the jawline, I come in. Here is a slight angle there. In the centre, I come straight down. I know exactly where I'm going. Yeah? In the neck, I go slightly out, slightly out and down. There's your map, there's your razor. Keep following these directions and you'll be going with the grain, that zero or minimal irritation. Now, if you um, stay tuned to my channel, on my next video, I'll be showing you how to exfoliate your skin, A, with uh, exfoliation scrub, and B, a fantastic tool that you can use twice a day, which will minimize or even get rid of razor bump. So why are you gonna need this map for this tool that I'm gonna show you? With the tool for exfoliation, you always want to go against the grain. So whatever you see here, just go in the opposite direction and you'll know that you'll be getting maximum exfoliation because if you're exfoliating against the grain, it's gonna pull all the hairs out of the pores that might be otherwise going, curling back in to create a razor bump. That's what a razor bump is when the hair grows out and then curls and punctures the skin and goes back in. But if you're exfoliating, against the grain that will stop that from happening so that's a, a video well worth uh, tuning in to watch on my next video so for now larry the barber man signing off